So that war with France went really well, and now we're going to continue to go to war with some Native American tribes as we continue to close down our Northern American coastal provinces and make sure that Great Britain doesn't grab anything else from us. So we've just begun to fabricate a claim on uh, these Native Americans here, and I hope to take over. I mean, all I want is these two provinces uh, just because I'm going to have to go to war with them eventually. And uh, at that point, oh, I can gang legitimacy. I'd actually rather gang the prestige just because, like I said, I think my heir is going to die soon, and I should get a bunch. I'm sorry, not my heir. My king is going to die soon. He's, he's 52 years old, and I think my legitimacy is going to pop back up to 100%, I think. But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to take the risk and uh, get some prestige. Even though it's even even though it's only five, and I'm actually losing it. Dang, negative two point six five yearly. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best, but I just feel like the legitimacy would have been for nothing, because it's gonna pop up no matter what. Uh, oh yes, give me that fifty administrative power. We actually, we actually kind of need that somewhat. National unrest, morale of armies. All right, so I'll get less morale. We still have to core this stuff. Not bad. Here's, it's not too expensive. Not too expensive. I mean, remember that we are doing 10 administrative power uh, per month, which is great, but that's going to go away when we have our shitty heir. Freaking, what's his name? Yaxum? Dang you, Yaxman. Yaxum. That was, that was nice. Oh, again? Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do it again. I'm going to take, take another chance here. I'm going to take another chance. I uh, can't forget. I know I'm forgetting about this a lot, but uh, there is a new Cal... Or actually, it's just called... Is it just California? California has been formed by Spain. They're just calling it California. Whoa, and they're colonizing a lot over here. This is Portugal, I think. Maybe. That might not be actually accurate. That could be totally somebody else. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, California is kind of up this entire west coast of the U.S. That kind of sucks. And I'm not talking about that, but that seems to be a little bit more of a threat than I'm, I'm, that I'm thinking about right now. Okay, where? Okay, you finished up. So I need you to go this way. It was, it was you? Yeah. Okay, you go in this way. Get ready. Get ready. Uh, we've got 61% until the until this gets finished up, and I might wait. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should wait until we're done. Here, I need to core this stuff as fast as I can, like right now, because uh, I'm not going to be getting this, this much administrative power when my air comes. And I actually might want to even... Well, okay, I'm not going to mess around my national focus. We're going to have to definitely mess around with that a little bit. Actually, no, we're probably going to keep it there, uh, focusing on administrative power since my heir has zero administrative power. Uh, and I think I might need to move around some advisors, get some level two advisors in some different spots. But this has been pretty helpful so far. There we go. Now we're back to where we should be in military technology. All right, so we get leather cannons. Oh, no, we get to upgrade the leather cannons. All right. Can we, can we start to convert some things? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take us 66 months. All right, let's do that. I know that's quite a bit long time. It's like five years, but okay. <laughs> we will we'll do it. In terms of ideas, Col colonial range, again, we don't need this. And we don't really need... Actually, you know what? Global settler increase would be good. It would, it would speed things up. But where are we at in terms of... Yeah, we can, we can afford it. We're only 5% behind. Uh, let's do it. I want that next idea group. Global settler increase as well as... Global tariffs might be good. Another colonist. Oh my gosh, four colonists would be great. But that's really far down the line there. That's pretty far down the line. All right, so how's my war exhaustion doing? War exhaustion's good. Uh, I can make this one a core. I guess I'm not getting any overextension, so there's really no way, there's no reason for me not to go to war right now. How? Wait, what about rebel uprisings? Oh, wait, we actually are going to see something probably. Hey, yeah, let's wait for a second. We don't need to go to war right now with these guys. We're, there's no rush at all. I mean, maybe they'll maybe they'll break some alliances or something will happen to, to make it a little bit better. Okay, now we've got extra unrest. Well, that sucks. Religious unity is pulling us down. Legitimacy is pulling us down. Cycle of creation and chaos. That's a stupid national thing that happens all the time. Who are you going to war with? Uh, I think someone in South America. So the, I've got a big problem with the fact that Spain and Great Britain have not rivaled each other. That's not cool. That's totally not fair. Especially thinking that, you know, Spain is already allied to Portugal. So that's kind of bullshit. Um, see, Portugal, man, I don't understand how uh, Portuguese Brazil is still underneath Spain. Spain's very weak. A few wars and uh, I'm sure, I mean, wh wh where's, where exactly was it at? Where's their liberty desire at? 
83%, but they're not willing to let me support them, support their independence. Why? Distance between borders, that's the biggest issue. Well, we're gonna be able to pull that down soon. Okay, good, so we finished up another colony. Let me make sure that we do the, the, do the next one right. Okay, so send where, wait, what? Oh, wait, I have to wait for this other one to be established, I think, aren't I? Landlocked, not adjacent to any of our fully developed provinces. Oh, we have to wait for this one to pop up. Okay, so then we'll, we'll, we'll move down here. And we'll wait for this guy to finish up. And hopefully that's the case. I hope so. I mean, how, how, how much further? Uh-oh. Great Britain's finished up their two provinces in, in Florida. Ugh, I don't like that. I mean, you should be finished up soon, though. We'll see. A little bit scary. I, I think they're going to focus on Florida, though. I think they're going to focus on Florida. Hopefully they do. And we'll wait for... I mean, how, how big is this going to happen? How big is this? I could increase the autonomy. I mean, these guys aren't really providing me much anyways. Wait. Uh, once I core it, I think, I think it should get a little bit better. I might take the chance. Let them uprise. We've got the army to handle them. We're at, what, 60,000 men? 61,000. We're not even at our, our tops right now. Yeah, so we'll chill. We're fine. We're going to keep it like that for now. And we'll see if they uprise. I mean, they're at 80%. More than likely, they will uprise. We'll be ready for them. We should be ready for them. Okay, let's just move you in. Let's move the transport ships in. I don't think we're going to be needing our transport ships anytime soon. I mean, the one thing I want is just a just damn ally, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Uh, these guys are at war with Spain. I'm sure they're going to get their ass kicked. Again, Mamlux, they're not having it. They're not having it. Oh, they're winning their war against the Timurids. Hopefully they get a little bit more powerful. Hey, they're friendly towards me. Oh, yes. I'm going to take it. Yep. I'm taking it. Finally. Finally, an alliance. Okay, so who have you rivaled? You rivaled Spain. Perfect. And Portugal. So that's that's a start. That's a damn start. All right. I would like to get another alliance, though. Maybe with Austria. Oh, they are feeling friendly towards me. Oh, shit. Are you rival towards Mamlux? You're not. Okay, boom. Let's do it. Let's take two of them. All right, so exact, I know that I, I probably did that a little prematurely without figuring out things. Oh, you've, you've rivaled both Great Britain and Spain. So we're good. That's, that's, we're right on the same page. Uh, good thing I can't get up a royal marriage, so I can dissolve that alliance at any point. Uh, my prestige is okay, so I can take the hit if I don't want to join in on a war. We'll see. But, I mean, it's definitely, I'm sure, got to be, you know, making a lot of the powers in Europe kind of rethink if they were going to, if they were planning on going to war with me. They've got to be somewhat rethinking it now. I'm hoping, oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to just cut them off by going out this way. Um, are you almost done, bro? Yeah, you are. You are almost done. Okay, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna kind of just come out this way, boom, like that. They're really trying to connect their colonies. What is this? What they grab from us? Uh, how how can I tell now since they've grabbed it? This was only two base tax. Okay, not big of a loss. It's just like strategically a big loss. I mean, they're definitely gonna form Florida, and Florida's gonna be somewhat okay. They're gonna have six provinces. If we can cut them off fast enough. And I might just invest heavily in... Uh... Here we go. Let's make a core there. Did this guy finish? No, he's so close. There goes my military leader. I'm going to go ahead and hire a... Uh... Well, I don't want to hire just a, a conquistador just for one thing. I just want to get rid of this Terra Incognita. But actually, it might go away when I start to colonize around this area. I'll wait. I'll wait before I hire one. Yeah, we're going to wait... Uh, I'm gonna need it though when those rebels spawn up in France in France's colonies Okay, boom finally Let's send you there and move you up this way All right, so there's a start and I'll see if this Terra Incognita goes away after a hundred days if it doesn't then yeah I'm gonna have to hire a conquistador and we're gonna have to figure our way around that way So yeah, I hope that we can pop this just lock them lock them off just lock them off. The borders aren't going to be perfect. That will be for sure. It will not be perfect. That's Great Britain's fault. I wish that they were, but they're not. I'd like to do something about New Spain, but that's another issue that, like, entirely... That's an entirely another issue. Okay, so as soon as these guys rise up, uh, I will hopefully take them down. Shouldn't be too bad if I need to draw in some, 
some reinforcements from Mexico. I've got some here. Yeah, I've got 14,000 ready to go. Let's see how we're doing. Is there a war going on? No, there's just rebels that spawned up. Okay. But no one that's going to join. Okay, not bad. So the Terra Incognita did not go away. So we're going to need to hire a Conquistador. Let's go ahead and do it. 50 military power. Oh, whoa. Five fire. I thought they said that they were going to make these guys weaker than regular generals. That's why I didn't want to do it. But okay. That's chill. Say, so will we get a crossing? Eyelash. I, I ish. Are we going to get, are we seriously going to get a crossing from all these areas? That kind of sucks. Yeah, just about, oh my gosh, what the heck? No, if we move, oh yeah, we're going to get about, okay, screw it then. Just, just walk up in there. Let's go for it. Yeah, we're probably going to get a defensive penalty as well. Oh, Burgundy declared war in France. France is done. France is totally done, bro. Oh, I forgot he had two shock, too. Damn. This is good. This is nice. All right, and uh, let's give it a second. Coffee boom. We also finished another core. So have we finished everything? Oh, we have to... That's right. I got to keep my eye on that stuff. I really do need to core all my colonies as soon as they're done, because that's... It's not going to be giving me... Because I think it's, what, like a 75... Um, Something about like 75% autonomy or some shit if I don't core it. All, right, all I know is I don't get the full power from it if I don't core it. I'm not getting like its full power if, if I'm not coring this stuff. Okay, is it the same situation with you? Yep, it is. All right, walk up in there. We should be fine. With our general, we've, we've, we've got to be doing pretty good. Why are we doing so good in this? We've got less morale than they do. I guess it's just straight up just men. Men and my general. <laughs> straight up men that's just a weird I don't know just that, what I said right now that's just what makes things good just just men <laughs> um I don't know I just <laughs> I don't know I just thought that that was really weird of me to say I feel like I don't know I'm gonna break out into song like it's raining men that raining men song I'm not even gonna try to sing that cause that's just terribly embarrassing but uh I don't know why. I just thought of that song, Raining Men, when I said that. So let's move this guy over towards here. And I think we can take a brief period of of not watching this province just to discover behind the Terra Incognita. We're probably going to skip over this province as well uh, when, when we're colonizing just because there's no point. Okay, boom, gone. Very nice. What can you provide for me? It's only one. Damn. All right, Shawnee's not happy with me. Do we have more? What? Ah, oh, Norwegian Patriots. All right, there's nothing we can do about that. If they rise up, then they're going to rise up. And that sucks. I'm waiting for that damn autonomy to go down. But, oh, wait a second. We've, we've got a possibility of a lot of, of, a, of a shitload of them. Independence for Vinland. I've colonized you. What the hell do you want? Okay, do, do you really need me to? Fine. I'm going to increase the autonomy here. I don't know what you guys want. Here, this is only two base tax here. You can, ha you can have some autonomy. Not you. Not you. You will not be the one. I don't want you to either have it either. Uh, there. And, uh, maybe you too. Okay, please, go away. It didn't really, it didn't really fix anything. Alright, so let's prepare our troops for that. Uh, I hope 16,000 men is gonna be enough. It probably won't be. But, we'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's go to war with these guys, though. Uh, that way, hopefully we can finish off the war fast enough to... The, my, my, my European allies aren't gonna join in. I, I, I figured that, but I'm just saying... That sucks. All right, so, yeah, we should be able to destroy these guys pretty easily. And let's get you back inside. Yeah, with this general, we should be fine. We can pretty much do whatever. I mean, what, what's their total amount of forces? Hey, they've got 21,000. This might be somewhat close if we don't rush in after them. If they unify their army, then that should be interesting. If they're able to, like, unify all their, all their, all their armies, but sometimes the AI is dumb and they kind of rush in after me. Like, oh, yeah, like that. Here, so, oh, you've got a two-star as well. You're going to get there the 16th of... Oh, shit, I've got to stop myself. Okay, where where we where, where do we want to fight in? What, does this not say? Oh, Savannah. All right, well, we're moving in. That's that's right, you're not doing... You're not going anywhere. Dang. Well, that was easy. Staples. That was easy. Okay, move over this way. Why, why aren't you going around the other way? Oh, you're having some... Dang, you're... Rebel oh, shit! Someone just formed. Who is this? Uh, 
Tohom. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a Native American tribe that naturally starts off in EU4. They must have gotten taken over, maybe. I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so here comes 6,000 troops. I will detach, move this way. So does it take you a long time to get through a savanna or something? It takes you four days. Why, why did you go around? Whoa. What? Oh, crap. I did not realize that that was going down here. Okay, where are you moving? You're moving kind of far. Oh, crap. We got we to gotta fix that. All right, hold on. Damn. I didn't realize you, you were going to split up your stuff. Are you moving in towards me or, or what? Oh, man. Okay, hold on. I don't want them to destroy my colony there. That's gonna that's that could screw me over. That might just screw me over pretty hardcore. Okay, here. I'll meet you wherever you want to meet at, bro. Yep, you're gonna go that way. Alright, so we've got the reinforcements coming. Did we destroy you? Yeah, we did. Alright, so I'm gonna combine and move this way. Take these dudes out right now. Uh, also, how far are you going? You're going pretty far. So I don't think, I think that everyone over in this area should be fine. Oh, wait, wait. Here's a creek warrior here. Let's, let's, let's pass by them and take them out real quick. There you go. Let's destroy you. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, you're running this way. How fast are you going to get there? All right, so I'll split. We don't need all of them. But I'll, I'll chase him down with 11,000 men. Just because I don't want to, to lose the progress here. Oh, great. All right, this is going to be fun. Uh, and we're probably going to see some Vinland Patriots rise up as well. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should do some harsh treatment so I don't have to deal with this right now. Yeah, I need to. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to deal with like 40,000 men up this way. 40,000 rebels or some shit. Ottomans declared war on Byzantium. Byzantium still hasn't been destroyed. That's pretty shocking. All right. So, um, forest, forest. I'm going to have to put my air in battle. Actually, no, put my king in battle. I know I don't want him to die, but, I mean, he's going to die anyway, so. He's not the best, but he'll do. Okay, put the king in battle. Who's closer to finishing up their siege? I guess this one is. Now, let's see what's going on down this way. Um, are you moving? Are you moving towards? Where are you moving towards? You're moving around this way. Okay, we destroyed some people there. Let me select you, move you back, because we're fine now. The 10,000 should deal with that sort of crap. Oh, man, we got a lot of things going on right now. Move back towards the province that you were supposed to be protecting, bro. You didn't protect it at all. All right, I'm going to gain some administrative power. I really need it. Okay, and you're going to move down this way. Please kill him. Stop letting him move. What else we got? What else we got? Another merchant. For what? For administrative power? I don't think so. Not yet. Get a lot more money. National tax modifier. I'll take that. How is our war up in Vinland going? We destroyed them. Let me let me wait maybe about the end of the month. Get some morale back. Yeah, so that's that's good. I'm really glad that we did some harsh treatment there. And for the Vinlandian... Is it Vinlandian? Uh, it is Vinlandian. Wow. I was a total guess. I guess I got it right. That's pretty crazy. All right, let me take back my colonists. There we go. And the one stack should be there by soon. Okay, hold on. Before I forget, go this way. Take them down. Yeah, you're good. And let's take out these guys now. Uh, these these guys are being annoying. Okay, we should we should be fine. We need to start annexing like somebody. What is it? The creek, maybe? Uh, we need to start... We, we gotta start, like, carpet sieging this stuff just because they're being annoying and uh, they're continuing to send troops at us. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to stop right there, though. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. Okay, good. We won that battle there. So we're safe now for, for a little bit, at least. Let me move you out of the way because some rebels are probably gonna spawn. I understand that I lower the, the chance of it, of uh, the unrest when keeping... Regiments on like, you know, unhappy provinces, but I'm not willing to have them rise up when my if my if I if my army can't handle their size or whatever it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.